Hello BookTube, I'm here to do a, I guess you would say a sort of response video. I'm a bit late, uh, Steve Donahue did one of his Steve's dreams, uh, on the 5th of February, about six days ago now, uh, a Steve's dream about reading. First I want to say, Steve, if you're gonna use my, uh, photos for your thumbnails, you know, uh, maybe show my head, uh, but, you know, at least ask me, uh, you know, um, it's, yeah, you know, you need, you need to ask permission to use, you know, my bare torso every time, you know, anyway, uh, let's get back to the video. Uh, it's it's a long video. Uh, it's it's just over two hours. I'd watched this on sort of in two sittings, basically. And Steve posed the question, uh, base more or less, what? Uh, how do you read, and where do you DNF a book uh, you, so you do not finish it? Uh, and it was very interesting. It was like Steve sort of thought that he's on one side of the road being a critic and he's got to read everything regardless of whether he likes it or not. And everybody else, uh, that was commenting, um, basically had a formula that they used for, uh, DNFing a book. It's either, uh, that... It's 50 pages, 10 pages, first page, a percentage, 10%, 50%. If it's not engaging them, if it's not interesting them, it's all a variation of that. Uh, but everybody, like some people saying they don't DNF a book, they, you know, because they paid hard cash for it, they want to read it or they'll read it because uh, a friend or a critic, uh, Steve, why you would, but anyway, Steve, Steve has said that this is a good book, so they'll read it, even if they're not being engaged with it. And those are all sort of interesting things. And this is, this is uh, one of the good things, uh, um, about booktube. Um, and I think, I think I need to do a video. What has booktube done for us? Um, yeah, I kind of like that idea. Um, anyway, um, because most people, if you're like myself, um, you don't have that many people throughout your life that, that have been big readers. It's a very, very small handful of people. And a lot of times you don't get these sort of overarching and a lot of opinions on something like this. Uh, like it, it obviously, you know, uh, on a live stream, there's going to be a, you know, it, it's a small percentage of readers and people who read and watch BookTube or are BookTubers that are on here. But I think he had about 60 or 70, maybe, um, uh, you know, view viewers. And I don't know how many commentators uh, on for messages, but it, it, it's more people than I have ever known. Um, with varying uh, opinions of this. So it's interesting to see these. Sometimes it's an eye-opener uh, because I I never, like, I rarely put a book down and never finish it. Like, I mean, fully never finish it. I may put something down. Uh, n n sorry, now I'm going to get into sort of my thoughts on this. Uh, I rarely put down a book and never, ever finish it. There's only a few things that I've done that. And if I haven't, and it wasn't because I have no intention of going back to it, something has has stopped me from, from reading it. It wasn't that, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm done with this. I'm not going to read it anymore. Uh, and because uh, the main reason is uh, I read for different reasons. Doesn't everybody? <laughs> like that, that's, that's a question. It's like, you know, doesn't everybody or does everybody just read because they they want to get they they want knowledge they want one thing out of everything. Well, I like I want something, but it, like to me, every book is different. I could never give a formula of what makes a book read or why I'm reading a book because 
for instance, everybody knows that I have uh, have had and still have uh, a love of classic science fiction, golden age of science fiction. So, for instance, you know, I like there was a time that I was interested in, uh, you know, pre golden age science fiction. So that means like pre nineteen thirty eight. Uh, so that means reading um, stuff from the thirties and twenties. Uh, especially if if you want to go from 1926. So basically you got about a 15-year period there, 14-year period, or actually 12-year period, I guess it is. Um, now, if you want to know what the science fiction was like at that time, you can't cherry pick. You can cherry pick to get the good stuff, but if you want an overarching thing, you're going to have to slog through a lot of sludge. And that to me is interesting to read even the sludge uh because that gives me an overarching view of the science fiction of the time uh as well as then makes me appreciate the good stuff even more so so that could be a reason why i i'm reading something or if it's non-fiction uh, it may not be well written. It's maybe tedious, but I'm reading it to get some knowledge. So I won't DNF something for that. Uh, also, too, um, the, like to me, it's like yeah, I you know, I'm 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 reassessing stuff as you know as I get older, and one of my projects is, which I'm going to have to get back to it, is Jane Austen. I'm reassessing her works. So even though, uh, and I've been stalled on her first book, uh, but I will finish it and and talk about it. Um, so there's, there, there's a reason for me t to do this. If I was probably just reading this as, see, that's the thing, I wouldn't pick it up. I would maybe pick up one of her books to, to see if I like her stuff again, but I probably wouldn't start reading it. You see, for me, if I'm reading for pure pleasure all the time, I've already, before I start reading the book, I have a pretty good assessment of whether I'm going to like this on some level or not, generally speaking, if I'm reading for pure pleasure. Because I will have picked up the book, I will uh, I will looked at what it's about. Uh, I might have looked at uh, what what else the author has written in case I have read something by them before. Also, then I, I will flip through it and read pages and get a sense of their style of writing, and and then make a decision, an assessment: Do I want to read this? Yes or no. Uh, before I even before I even do it, like like I say, I, I will pick up a book, and if it's if it's for um, uh, like I mean, if, if I love the subject and what it's about, then that could be just the reason why I'd read it all the way through, regardless of 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 the style or other things that I'll dislike in the book or potentially dislike in the book. And science fiction to me is is part of that. Um, like I will read something for that reason, uh, but other writers, uh, I will I will read little bits out of it and then make the decision and then read it and I will finish it. Um, which all this stuff of of having this mathematical um, well, I I see it as mathematical, like of saying, well, I give X number of pages, I give percentage, and if it's not doing it for me, I drop it. Uh, you know, or one page people are doing it. And Steve had pointed out, rightly so, that, you know, there are books that take a while, like, to get into. And at times, the second half, or the even even sometimes the, the, the last quarter, last third of a book, makes up for everything else. And you need to, you, you really need to read that book. And you would you would potentially love it. But yes, you've got to get through uh, these other things that don't seem to work for you that much. Um, I had always put it down because I'd heard of this before. I'd put it down to that people are impatient today. They just want, you know, everything to happen 
immediately, you know, uh, and I'd always thought, well, it's a progression of TV, you know, uh, like the kind of thing that's action all the time and then video games and stuff like this, uh, you know, because as I say, it's not something that came up in discussion. So you sort of make up p potentialities or p possibilities of why this is sort of happening. Uh, but that's where, uh, you know, here uh, I'm seeing other things and that doesn't, I think that has a part of it for some people, but that clearly isn't because there's people I, that were, um, you know, commenting and talking about how they DNF that are my age or older, uh, potentially, uh, that were, 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 uh, people that were messaging and commenting on, uh, while Steve was doing the video. So, yeah, so that doesn't quite work. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, I, I'm, I'm sort of curious that the, I don't know if anything that I said there made any sense. But uh, if it does, let me know. And do you, are you with, I guess, if we look at Steve's video, is it the majority that have a strict thing that they do it? Do you not read? I guess the other question is, do you not read for other reasons? Like, yeah, critics read like Steve. That's an anomaly of not many people uh, do that kind of thing. I'm not a critic. But I will read things for different reasons. As I say, I will want to read as much of a genre uh, as as I can and uh, as much around. I, I don't just, if I'm interested in the genre, that's the thing. If I'm interested in the genre, uh, I won't just read the good stuff. I want to read some of the bad stuff in order to compare and get get a balance of things. If I like a writer, I'm going to read everything by that writer, even their bad stuff, because that gives me uh, an interest. So it's that kind of thing. That's So I would never DNF a book for that kind uh, of reasons. And now that I'm doing BookTube, I'm doing some things uh, like some reading challenges that I, I don't I don't want to uh, DNF the book. It may not be a book that I would pick up to, to read to begin with. But that's a different matter. Then again, it's the reason that I'm reading. I'm reading this for a different reason. So therefore, I won't DNF it. So if that has come through in this video, do let me know your thoughts below in the comments or send me uh, an email. Or I can be found on Voxer, just my name. And then you you, you see this beautiful visage, you know, as as the, uh, the icon or the, uh, what do they call it, avatar, I guess. Uh, for for that so uh, yeah I, I'd love to hear from you and uh, um, keep looking out for what has booktube done for us take care booktube